Hey guys, Ryan here from the Ants America Ant channel, and today I have me showing you guys stuff and Zach on the recorder. What's up, guys? And today I'm going to be talking about my Chromatogaster SP Queen. i um, showing you guys an update on her. She does have some eggs now. And I'm also going to be teaching you guys the proper um, test tube setup with actual test tubes this time, not those fake yellow things I used to have. Um, but before we start, I'm just going to explain a quick tip for you guys when you first house your queens. So this is just an arm brace from when I broke my arm. But basically what I did was I stuck my queen in an area in there. Let me set her down. I stuck her in this tiny little hole. So if Zach looks over here really quick, you can see there's like a little hole where the uh, test tube can go in and it's pitch black. And queens, since they bury themselves underground, they will be able to lay more eggs um, when it's darker. So you, you want to keep them in a dark, confined space. So she laid her eggs down right now. I can't count how many, um, but we're going to give Zach a quick peek at her. I don't know when, though, because she's actually looking like she wants to crawl outside the tube, so I don't know if I should open it. But we'll give her a few minutes. She's just kind of on edge right now because she's been exposed to light, so she's not used to it. She seems to be going back, so we're going to give you guys a good view of these eggs. So let me move them to the edge right here. Zach's going to bend down, and he's going to look in the tube. She's grabbing them right now. Zach, you're going to want to zoom in. So, let's zoom in here. And then we're going to have to focus. I'm so sorry, guys. Trying to focus is pretty tough for the camera. Yeah, you want to zoom out? Just zoom out. Yeah, let's zoom out a tiny bit. You can pretty much see her. So, we're trying to focus it, guys. I'm really sorry. The camera's not really doing too hot right now. Is she drinking water? I don't know. She probably is. Actually, no. Right now, she's holding her eggs. Alrighty. Alright, so we're going to give you guys that quick view. Alright, we'll put her back. Keep her safe and sound. So now, after you guys saw our update on her queen, she has about three or four eggs, I think, um, last time I counted. I see two or three in her mouth, and there's one on the ground down there. Or not on the ground, like in the test tube. So, about four. That's uh, my update on her, so I'm going to leave her in there so she can make more eggs. And Oops, sorry um, about that. I'm going to go get the resources, and um, we'll be right back to continue the video, so we're going to pause it really quick, and I'll show you guys the test tube setup. Alright guys, so we have our supplies, only uh, one supply at the moment, but we have this package of test tubes I just ordered, like 10 I think. Um, so if Zach comes in on this, you can tell... It's extremely dirty, um, and you don't want to put your queen in a non, which we say, um, non sanitized clean. area. It has to be very clean and good for the queen so she can survive. So you're going to want to clean them, and uh, I'm going to go clean it right now, and then we'll get right back to the video. Alright guys, so I just washed it. Uh, your next step is to take a clean, once again clean, uh, paper towel and just stick it in about this far and just clean out the area where your queen's going to be. Or not clean, just dry it out really. Um, and then you're going to want to um, put a cotton ball in with your water set up, which I'll show you in just a minute. Alright guys, so now that we have our clean test tube all dried out and ready to go. Um, actually, before I continue, I'm just going to point something out really quick. Um, to make it extremely sanitized, which is what I did after sticking the paper towel on it, I let it sit in the sun for about 45 minutes approximately to um, dry out completely and just to make it really safe for um, for the queen to make sure it's all sanitized because sunlight really takes out um, some really bad uh, variables that could affect your queen. But what our next step is going to be is you're going to take your test tube and fill it up, fill it up about 65% of the way, 70% maybe, um, about this much I guess of the test tube. and. Um, Fill it up with water. Alright guys, so we just filled it up with water, um, like I just said, and it's about, so that comes in, 70% um, if you look at the entire tube, it right, looks about 70%. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's not a perfect science, but um, basically our next step is to set up the chamber in which your queen will um, stay for approximately uh, three to four months, maybe five when she raises her fur nanotech workers. And um, so 
Our first goal is to separate the cotton because it's too big to fit in there. So you're gonna want to like pull like a little bit off of it, not half, but like about that. There's a size comparison, and you wanna. You're not really gonna want to touch it with your fingers that much. My hands are clean. I just washed them, so it's okay. So you're gonna stick it in and leave it very furry on top, so to say. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a pokey thing, okay? This is a toothpick. Uh, you also could use a Q-tip, and I call it a pokey, and you're just going to poke it down and push on the edges. So, next thing you're getting kind of close, and we're going to watch this. So, you're going to push it down on the middle. And you want to do it really fast so you get no air bubbles. So, push it down like that until it gets down to about right there. And you're going to push it down. You see the water rising? Now, you're just going to push it on the edges until you see some water. So, now that there's water, it's wet, that means this will work for your queen. She can now drink water and she won't drown. So your test to make sure it worked fine is to uh, flip it upside down and shake it. No water comes out. You don't want to shake it hard because it will get rid of the um, cotton ball. But if you shake it, no water's coming, no drips. Just scan it to make sure it's nice and good. So it looks pretty good. Um, there's no bubbles. Bubbles are bad. You don't want to get bubbles in it because it could change the um, water flow through the cotton ball. But basically, this is what you want to do. So you just can take a look at that. And your last step is to take another part of that cotton ball. And you want to keep this one pretty airy, so you want to like separate it a lot, pull it apart, and then put it back together so it'll have air holes through it. And you're going to stick it in like that. So and your queen will go. Right yeah, your queen will go in this area, which is, I can show you with our current queen, a good representation of it. It's not too small, right? Basically, this is what you're going to want uh, for, your, for your setup. So, um, you can expect that um, this will work for your queens. And I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Um, this is another video by Ryan Schweik and Zach, um, by Ants Can and Ants America. And, uh, sorry, I just watched Ants Can in the video, so I'm kind of thinking about that. But, I'm tired. Um, Ants America, that is our channel name. If you guys like the video, I want you to drop a like, please comment on the video, and also subscribe. Once you subscribe, there's a little bell icon by my name, I want you to hit that bell icon. If you hit that icon, you'll be informed every single time a new Chromatogaster video comes out, so you can stay updated with our queen. Also, please make sure you guys name our queen, we're trying to get a good name for her. We had a few people lay some names earlier, but we're going to want some more to choose from. In our next video, you can expect me and Zach to be doing another queen hunt and teach you guys places to look and where to walk around to find good queens, what a good day is, climate, temperature, everything like that. So you can expect that video to come in the next few days. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Thanks for watching the video. And it's America.